Oh, oh I'm so sorry, man. It's okay. Are you all right? Victor, just the man I wanted to see. It's good to see you, Spencer. Is Valentine gone and Nicholas God knows where? Cassidines have never been more vulnerable. But seeing you renews my hope in our future. A future in the form of you and your little baby brother. That's why I'm here. My little brother's in danger and I need your help to save him. Esme remains determined to keep the baby with her in prison. <sighs> Proof that memory or no memory, she's as selfish as she ever was. Exactly which is all the more reason to get my baby brother away from her. Now, is that something that you could accomplish with your connections? I'm sure something can be worked out, but I will be needing some guarantees in return. Victor Cassidyne, I've been meaning to have a word with you about my brother. Luke's passing was indeed tragic, but that was more than a year ago, and... As if I haven't been counting the days since you had my brother killed. Excuse me, I did no such you thing. You know, it just... it never made any sense. Luke cheated death a million times, and then he dies in some supposedly random tram accident right about the same time you slithered back into town. That is hardly evidence of a crime. I don't have any proof. That's true. Certainly nothing that would hold up in court. But I know you did it, Victor. And one glorious day, you will pay. If you've quite finished making these groundless accusations, I was in the middle of a conversation with my great nephew. Spencer, these accusations aren't groundless. And I believe in your heart of hearts, you know that. Now, Laura has never actually come out and admitted to me that she thinks Victor had Luke killed, probably for fear that I would go after you with revenge on my own. But your grandmother and I have known one another all of our lives, and some things don't need words to be conveyed. Laura knows Victor is guilty. That's why she wants you to have nothing to do with him. All right, that's quite enough now. Leave the boy alone. He's your namesake. You're called Spencer, after my brother. I know. How can you sit here with his murderer? You can either leave now, or I'll have you escorted out. That's not necessary. I am sorry for your loss, and you are entitled to your beliefs, but I'm willing to give my uncle the benefit of the doubt. Whatever he's offering you in exchange for your loyalty, it's not worth it. My apologies for all that unpleasantness. Now, where were we? We were discussing how I can get custody of my younger brother. And if that's something that you can help me with, then you'll have my full support. <laughs>